regretting on you, Ulysses. Hello booktube, I'm Sean the Book Maniac. Welcome back to my channel. I don't want to take too long to do this, but I'm going to give you some practical changes that I've made to my booktube -a TBR and also show you my hat. So, I'm not going to spend much time talking about what hasn't changed, but just to do a very quick review. Uh, coin toss, done that very badly, but I'm not going <laughs> to, there's no improvement in my coin tossing skills, so that stands. A book about something you want to do. That still is the Making Sense of Japanese book. That's the, that won the coin toss, so I'm going to start with that out of the gate. Book to, book to movie adaptation will still be The Lord of the Flies on audio. A book with green on the cover. I have bumped Rachel Cusk's outline, mainly for length, because it's 240 pages. So just practically, I think I can do this if I keep my books under 200 pages. And closer to 150 is the ideal. So this one's gone for that reason only. I will get to it, but I bumped it in favor of Donal Ryan's From a Low and Quiet Sea. Doing it as a buddy read with Curtis, of Curtis Books and Films. We're both really interested in it. And for some reason that I've forgotten, it's kind of been in the, the news of late, but I had wanted to read it for quite some time. So, And it's short. It's 100, about 200 pages. So that's not a green cover though, so I already had shown you a couple others, and this will be my green cover. We think the world of you, J.R. Ackerley, it's 150 pages, so that's what I'll do for the green cover book. I'll save the hat to the very end, stay tuned, it's very practical. Beautiful Spine, I've also bumped, just again because of length. I'm dying to read this, it does have a beautiful spine, Anosh Irani's The Parcel. But it's just not realistic for me to read a 300-page book alongside six others next week with all the other stuff I have going on personally. So this will be, I think, a September read. So instead, this is a new acquisition. It hasn't even made its way into a page 112 tag yet. And I guess the spine is beautiful. It is. It is. The cover is gorgeous. This is a newly translated Japanese novel, Lion Cross Point, by Masatsugu Ono, translated by Angus Turville, and it's a very short and what a gorgeous little hardcover. So this is my new Beautiful Spine read. And the only other change is, and I'm not 100% sure about this because I talked on my original TBR or some other shorter books that I might read, but I'm going to add to two of them. Picnic at Hanging Rock by Joan Lindsay, uh, only because it's short, it's supposed to be really good, it's just under 200 pages, and Ange of Beyond the Pages is doing a read-along of this next week on her channel, so it's like, why don't I add this to the list? So, in and amongst all of these, I will do my damnedest to read seven books, and practically speaking, it's, it's practically doable. And one of them, I haven't decided which one, I'm going to read from cover to cover while wearing this hat. What do you think? Fairly practical, eh? Be able to enjoy wearing this hat for many years to come. Hey, this is just a handheld addition. Uh, I just realized as I was starting to edit the video that I didn't mention that I've also bumped the E.F. Benson biography. It's almost 300 pages, and I, I just think, actually, this weekend I'm doing only one book as a buddy read. I'm going to start this this weekend as well, and then set it aside during the Booktubeathon and pick it back up as soon as the Booktubeathon is finished and finish it on the plane when I go to Canada. I think that be makes better sense. And also, upon further consideration, I said I wasn't sure which book I was going to read while wearing my fabulous new hat, but it has to be J.R. Ackerley, We Think the World of You. Don't you think the old queen would approve? Thanks for watching. Oh.